Hi, I'm Mike Byers, Infinium High Performance Scope Product Planner for Keysight Technologies. In this short video, we'll discuss how the Infinium UXR series can help you in today's PAM measurements. Today, higher and higher wireline bandwidth demands are outpacing the evolution of traditional digital signals. Thus, four-level pulse amplitude modulation, or PAM4 multi-level signaling, is now the preferred modulation type for high-speed digital applications like 400 and 800 gigabit Ethernet and PCI Express Gen 6. PAM, pulse amplitude modulation signals, use more than the high and low levels of NRZ, non-return to zero, to achieve greater throughput with the same baud rate. For example, PAM4 uses four levels, where each level represents two bits of data. Because the signal to noise ratio of PAM signals is lower, they are more susceptible to noise, and this becomes a key factor when doing PAM analysis. The Infinium UXR series, with its industry-leading signal integrity, is the best instrument to perform PAM measurements. The UXR scope owns the best ENOB effective number of bits in the current real-time oscilloscope market, with the lowest jitter and the lowest noise. For PAM analysis, oscilloscopes need to determine the PAM levels and the thresholds that separate them. To display a PAM real-time eye, make eye measurements, and perform jitter and noise measurements, the oscilloscope needs to recover the clock from the PAM signal. The Keysight PAM-N analysis software extends these ease of use advantages of the Infinium oscilloscope to the analysis of PAM3, PAM4, PAM6, and PAM8 signals. A wizard walks you quickly through the steps required for the setup of measurements of PAM encoded signals to select the methods for clock recovery and then the measurements you wish to have performed on your PAM signal. Our PAM software is also able to accurately set the individual thresholds for each of your PAM levels and render individual eyes. The number of mask regions currently supported by the Infinium software is sufficient for up to PAM8 signals. So mass testing works the same as with NRZ signals. New PAM4 12-edge jitter measurements like J3U, J4U, J6U, and even odd measurements can be made on PRBS 13Q, PCI Express Gen 6, and other data patterns. New standards require jitter to be made on unequalized waveforms. 12-edge jitter measurements can be made on closed eyes. This is an important distinction from traditional jitter measurements, which are measuring eye width. During these measurements, a histogram is measured for each of 12 specific waveform transitions that are called out in the standards, as well as for the combined effects of all of the edge transitions. Now, the last measurement I want to emphasize is SNDR. The SNDR measurement is extremely important to PAM4 systems. Assuming intersymbol interference, ISI, is completely compensable by equalizers, you can predict a system's performance by determining the ratio between the signal's amplitude, Pmax, and noise, called sigma n, plus distortion, sigma e. Noise, or sigma n, is measured on flat spots in the pattern. Distortion is measured by first determining the system's linear fit pulse response and then determining the error due to nonlinear effects. SNDR is then expressed in dB. Keysight Technologies Infinium UXR series oscilloscopes and optional PAM analysis functionality provide advanced analysis of PAM signals, providing even more insight into your design. Contact your Keysight sales representatives to get more details.